So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you another interesting scenario-based question, which you all might have faced in your Power BI interviews if you are already giving it, and you can face this in the coming time if you are planning to give interviews for Power BI. Okay, so you should definitely know about this scenario. Okay, and the scenario is very simple. The interviewer will say you that you have sales on y-axis as you can see here on the screen, and on x-axis you have months from January to December. Okay. So now they will say that uh, the user wants that the starting value should be uh, April and the last value should be March. That means our the sales should start from April and and should and it and it should end on March. It should not show me from January to December. It might be that they are phys uh, they are dependent on the physical year uh, duration. Okay, so that's why they are asking from April to March. Now how will you achieve this condition? Okay, how will you show the results uh, the same way they want on the report okay so this is the scenario and you might be knowing about the answer you already might be knowing about the answer but i will discuss today two solutions so let us discuss the solutions both the solutions one by one uh, okay so for the first solution let me also tell you what is the exact table that we are using here so we are considering sales sample three table and one cal calendar table table calendar table table okay so in the data view tab if you can see this is the sam sales sample 3 table where we have different products their uh, order date and their sales value simple fact table okay and we have calendar table where we have different dates year month number day and and the month name okay simple calendar table and in the model view if you can see we have a normal one to many relationship between these two tables through order date as you can see here order date and date okay so this is a simple model that we are considering it here now okay so for the first solution uh, we have to go to this calendar table and create one calculated column there okay so let us do that first and in that calculated column i will make use of switch function okay you can also make use of nested if but i like switch function better than if so nested if so i will make use of switch function there okay and uh, And I will rename it to uh, new month number first. Okay, new month number equal to. I have already written the code that we have to paste it here directly so that we can achieve the result fast. Okay, and then I will explain it. Let me paste it here first. So what I have done, as you can see on the screen, I have marked April as first, May as second, June as third, and similarly March as twelve. That means I am hard coding it. I am marking every uh, individual month with some different month number which was earlier january as 1 february as 2 and december as 12 now april has become 1 and march has become 12 so this is a simple way of sorting the months with the help of as per the requirement okay now let me see or let us see what is what does the result comes out to be will it work for our situation or not let's see okay so after this what you have to see or what you have to do basically uh, we have to go to this month number or month name column and sort this with the help of this month number column that we have created right now and as you can see january has become 10 now okay february has become 11 now march has become 12 now okay and april has become one now so this is the order that we wanted and now we will sort this month name column with the help of this new month number column that we have created let us do that and let's see what does the result comes out to be So as you can see here, it has thrown an error. Why it is, and what is the error? A circular dependency was detected. Why it is throwing this error? Because we have calculated this new month number column on the basis of this month co column. So suppose this month column is A, and this new month number column is B. So B is dependent on A, okay? So B we have calculated on the basis of month A, and now again, we are sorting this A with the help of this month. So that means A to B and then again B to A. So a cycle has been created and that's why this error has come. Now how to remove this error? So for that what we have to do, we have to create another calculated column, a duplicate month column, which is not dependent because this new month number is dependent on this month column. So for that what we have to do, we have to create another column which will contain the same duplicate values of this month name column and then that month name will be sorted on the basis of this new month number column and after the sorting we can make use of that new month 
column on the x axis of our chart so that is the first way of giving the answer and as you can see here at the end we are finally creating two calculated columns that means those two calculated columns will take space in your model and ultimately your size will be uh, size will become bigger so this is not a good answer that you should give to the interviewer okay this is a solution that you can definitely tell but if you want to make it more dynamic because right now it is hard coded if you want to make it dynamic if you want to remove that unnecessary uh, calculated column that we created that we have to create for this type of uh, solution then we have to go with the second approach so for the second approach what i have to do i will create another calculated column and let's see how i will create that okay so for that let me close this and let me also delete this new month number column that will be better okay so now i will create another calculated column okay so here also i will make uh, the new name as new month number okay and here i will make use of if statement a single if statement not the nested if okay and with the help of that if statement i will also make it dynamic also okay now let's see how we can make it okay so if statement then the column that we have to use it here is month number column here and this is that column so if month number is greater than 3 why 3 because april comes on 4th and we have to start from april and end on march okay so if it is greater than 3 then month number minus 3 right why because 4 minus 3 will give it 1. So April will become 1. And May, May is 5. 5 minus 3, it will give it 2. So ultimately, April will become 1, May will become 2, and so on the other months. Fine. Now, what does the else part? In the else part, we will make use of again month number column. Okay. And add plus 9 there. Okay. Okay. So why I am using plus 9 here? Because in the initial part that is uh, the in the original month number column, January is 1, okay? And which is less than 3. So for less than 3, 1 plus 9, that will, that means January will become 10. Similarly, February is 2 earlier, now it will become 11. And then March will become 12. So April 2, March, 1, 2, 12. So, so in this way, we are able to dynamically create that new month number column. Now, suppose in the later part or in some situation, they, the user says they want to see it from, from other range, for, for example, from July to June. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to come to this column here and change these coordinates. That's it. Now, let us see what does the result comes out to be. So as you can see here, January has become 10. That is what we have. So that is what we had created. And then April has become first. Now, what we will do, we will go to the month column and then sort it with the help of this new month number column. And this time, this, that error of cyclic dependency will not come because this new month number column has been created on the basis of this existing month number column. Okay, now let it, now let's sort it using this new month number column. Okay, now it is sorted. Let us see the result on the report view. Now, as you can see here, it has sorted from April to March and that is what we re required, right? The user wanted in this format only from April to March. So this is how you have to answer it to the interviewer. Okay, this is quite straightforward and I hope you got the explanation. So please comment down if you have any queries and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos for all of you. Okay, thank you.